Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2022, Week 13, Episode 4. I'm your host, Dorgard, with my ever-vigilant co-host, J-Man. Everybody? So, yeah, it's been an exciting week so far. Lots of really good matches. This, uh... Every match matters so much right now with us hitting the end of the season, and every team wants every win they can get to try to get into playoffs. So this match is no exception. Absolutely not. And Sentai really needs um, a win here. It's, I mean, both of them need a win, but Sentai is like kind of, I think, on the bottom of their division, and they're in a pretty hotly contested division. So uh, even though their record is pretty good, it's even, um, they need the win. Yeah, so both teams need the win to try to keep their playoff hopes um, further alive. Both are still able to make it, but a win here would certainly be more in that direction. A loss could potentially put them on the chopping block if they're not careful. So let's get started here on Destroy Dynamic. We have King Piccolo and Birder. King Piccolo with attack plus one, power of rage, Dende's healing, serious latent energy, and Majin Buu AI. Going up against Birder with attack plus one, serious quick fast attack, eternal life, and Trunks AI. Yeah, both of these characters have uh, have had pretty good 2022 seasons, to be honest. Um, albeit Birder having a little more consistent one, but that could also come to the fact that he's had the same build more weeks in a row than King Piccolo. Uh, but you know, that's sometimes you have to be more crazy with the builds to keep teams guessing and get the results so it's not like what they were doing was wrong by any regards but Birder I think the buffs from what is it before last season this season has really turned them into a consistent performance yeah um, and I should say that Namek has used uh, a little bit of Zenny and by little bit I mean seven Zenny on this fight so they really want this win yeah I mean it's certainly at the point where it's like win or lose uh Again, Zenny disappears. Once we hit playoffs, any Zenny you had at the end of the season has gone. So using him to try to get a win here and there is a much better idea than trying to... Uh, or than holding it. Because if that's the one win you needed to make playoffs, you're going to feel real dumb that you had seven Zenny sitting on the side. Right. It, no, exactly. Because it's like, if you don't use your Zenny and you don't make playoffs, then you just had your win-loss record, I guess. But like use it when it matters even if it's not a division yeah i mean there's a lot always to check out and with no teams being guaranteed eliminated yet pretty much every team has reason to still consider using zenny uh albeit next week is the final week for divisionals week 15 we might see a lot of zenny use just because no divisional and you can't again use it but man this has been an incredibly even match oh after image must have gone into the rock yeah i would assume it just dodged the wrong way very unlucky because he should have dodged that. I mean, he's going to make up for it in this combo here. Yeah. There we go. Fair enough. I mean, not bad from King Piccolo. Again, EL user in Birder, so he probably did his 40k. Oh, absolutely. And a burning tornado will... Oh, oh, what? He was too close. You're not Birder. in full. You have to fly a little bit before you're in full. What a Chad Birder move. Uh, Nova with P plus one, super plus one, boost, quick fast attack, indignation, latent energy, launch support, light body, and TNAI going up against Jiren with super plus one, serious indignation, fighting spirit, savior, Dende's healing, and TNAI, and that's an ultimate. Well, Namek went from <laughs> being pretty competitive in this match to incredibly behind in a matter of seconds. Uh, unfortunate you know, relapse of a divisional we saw not too long ago. And that was just completely just Jiren doing well. Nuova has a lot of damage potential, but Jiren just out-damaged him, I guess. Out out-nuked him. That's not as good of an ult, my guy, as you think. And you're dead. <laughs> oh, no. Well, for those that said he got a barrier when he ulted, I think you've been disproven, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, pretty definitive. In comes Nail with Super Plus One, Kavita, Secret Art, Indication, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Savior, and Team AI. A huge lead for Sentai. Yeah, I would say um, Namek are not out. Late Piccolo's in the back. The no, tag game is still doable. Uh, and Nail is certainly not a bad character when it comes to his kit. Uh, so 
I mean, you just, we're just going to have to find out. And yeah, the yes. poll is done. We have Sentai at 63, Namek at 36, so people are certainly expecting Sentai to pull out the win here. Full power, we could see. Yep, there That's it is, old. Mystic Flasher. Locked. Covered himself with the key blast, though. Yeah. Very important. Uh, now he does have that charge penalty, which will hurt him a little bit. Jiren with the nice little, uh, what do you call that? I don't know, what are we talking about? Like where he turned around and did like... Oh a, yeah, a so that's the counter-attack thing. Yeah, the counter -attack. Oh, another full power. Well, that's not an ult, but honestly, that's a better choice. I, yeah, I was about to say, that's a way better choice than an ult. Uh, and in comes Seiya Man with defense plus two, late energy, power, rage, Dende healing, and Piccolo AI. Yeah, I mean, but, this is uh, still anyone's game, albeit, you know, more so Sentai's match to lose than anything, but... Nail's done a pretty good job so far, and he could certainly, again, tag and get his resources back. Nice block. Yeah. Uh, the tag game on Sentai, though, the fact that nobody's gone down yet is a little scary for basically one bar of Nail and the rest of Late Piccolo. Oh, finally got a tag on Namek, and yeah, Late Piccolo has got a lot of work to do, but this is Late Piccolo we're talking about. Yes. I think he's number three in the league if you discount Gotenks. So, certainly no slouch. Yeah, it's going to be a close one, and uh, I'll have to check and see if Namek are eliminated from this loss. I actually have no idea. I think Ooh. they're still able to make playoffs. A nice but, light grenade damage. Yeah, I mean, you say... I mean, there's only one full health member Ooh. left on Sentai, so... Play Piccolo could certainly, in a couple combos here, be quite out of it, but yeah. They all refuse to die, though. <laughs> They just will not die. They will not accept death. Um, Lake Piccolo, by the way, attack plus two, defense minus one, a defense plus one boost, eternal life, serious, quick fast attack, and not do AI. So he has the tools to do this. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Uh, see if he's actually able to pull it out. I think that, yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> so don't let Burner get away with it again. He's looking for the tag, and here comes Jiren. And yeah, this is. Uh... <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Wow. Would you even call that living? I guess technically. <laughs> well, yeah, for how long? Two seconds. All right. So... Well, <laughs> Nail, you're a good member. You're a good Namekian. But I'm sorry to say that uh, this match is looking a little uh, toasted for you. How did he dodge that point blank? Because he's Jiren, okay? He's Ultra Instinct. Yes. And down goes Nail. Wow, a pretty commanding victory from Sentai. So yeah, um... Namek are not eliminated. Uh, because what? Royals won. Royals won. Cold Cold lost. Lost. GT, GT won. won. So they, they have to basically win the next two weeks and have GT lose the next yeah. two weeks. So they're and not out of Sentai. it. It's hard. Did Cinema lose? Cinema... Yeah, they lost. Yeah, they, they lost to RW. Uh, Kaiju lost. Androids won. So this puts Cinema and Sentai in an interesting spot. Um, but I mean, technically, Kaiju is not safe, depending on how yeah. divisionals matched up. I don't know the South Kai's divisionals, but yeah, we'll go more into detail on that later. Let's move on to match eight, though, the final match and the final divisional of this week and the final divisional for West Kai. Yes, big divisional here. Uh, obviously, hybrids are just doing this for fun at this point, basically, but Budokai really needs this. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even necessarily say it's for fun. They're they're testing stuff because you got to see what your five's going to look like, right? There's been characters oh, yeah. that have been hit or miss, so... For sure. Yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, got some interesting coming out of hybrids, though. This is why we're saying that they're having fun. Yeah, Nam coming in with Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Ultra Divine Water, Rising Fighting Spirit, Light Body, an Aura Charge Ultimate 4 Boost, and uh, Frieza AI. 
So Aura Charge Ultimate Boost is, uh, I think it just changes the color of his charge. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. He's got Woo! like a key effect around him now. He's mad. And he's got, so for those that don't know, Ultra Divine Water, new Patara this season, not seen very much. It's a high risk, high reward. It gives plus one to attack, defense, super, and key, but you get minus 10k health, so minus one health bar. So it's a very, like I said, high risk, high reward, and oh my god. We could see something insane come out of Nog here with the cross arm attack, or really any need to. Yeah, and oh, by the way, Kid Goku with attack plus two defense minus one fighting spirit, serious eternal life, Broly's ring, and Trunks AI. Uh, but yeah, Nam has already made up that one bar deficit that he gets from Ultra Divine Water. Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about another class cannon? Uh, Kid Go or Kid Goku has defense minus, and they give him more defense minus with the attack plus. But his melee is quite incredible when you do that, so it's a very, you know, class cannon as said. Yeah, and yeah, very even between these two, but one B two from Nam, oh man, could be a huge difference maker. Former team oh, from the previous league, now enemies. There you go, thirteen K. Christ, that yeah, Ultra Divine Water. I, we haven't seen it really take off yet, but like the damage it gives you is pretty nutty. Yeah, it's still we're still at the stage where people don't want to give up that health bar. Um, yeah. I mean, and we have another one, points. Broken Glow, another expensive one, doesn't give the health bar, it's attack minus one, super minus one, but all your B2s cost half, and there we go, that'll oh. do it. Well, yeah, so super Ultra plus three Mustard Nom, Nom, scary. Ultra <laughs> Mustard Nom is certainly a thing. Now, 18 has had some insane weeks this year, she could certainly turn this around very quickly. Yeah, she's got a pretty crazy build as well. Super plus two, three minus one, savior, high tension, indignation, fighting spirit, Kabito, secret heart, and CNAI. So if she does get those B2s off, especially towards low health, it's going to be crazy. Oh, and he counters the super unyielding spirit. The nice, like, 11k B2. Or, uh, what, not as nine? much, because she doesn't have all the defense minus. Oh, right. right. I was like, why does that go down so much? But yeah, Goku's just very weak. I mean, damage done by Nom. Yeah, absolutely. A character and a bar. That's an ult! Oh. And she's oh, super no. I understand what she was trying to do. She was hoping you'd come in and fly around, because sometimes characters do that, get that super and yielding, oh, but no. instead, uh, she's just facing the wrath of Team Gohan. Team Gohan's just punishing and her she's for dead. everything. Oh 10k my God. week from 18. Wow. <laughs> Team Gohan, Key plus one, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Quick Fast Attack, Savior, Dende, Ceiling, and CNEI going up against uh, Vegito with Attack plus one, Serious, Dende, Ceiling, Rush Blast three, Indignation, Boost, and Trunks AI. You know, the Capsule Cast episode for this week should be called Explosive Offense because we have seen so many people come in, get hit by an ult, and then like two V2s and just be instantly gone. Yeah, no, it's insane the amount of just burst damage that some characters are capable of. I mean, we even saw it out of a character who was on a literal melee build in Goten earlier, so I mean, yeah. it's just like, ults are meant to do a lot of damage, but when you follow up with another strong B2, my god, and, I mean, this is Vegito, though. Uh, yeah. He could certainly turn this into a much even fight, and honestly, just taking out Team here without taking more damage would make it even. Oh, did he try to transform? What was that? Oh, he's teabagging. Tea his body yeah. was there. What a, what a scum, Team. Too much Xbox He's Live. Chi Chi should take that away from you. And down goes Team Gohan. Honestly, I think that was pretty good from Vegito, not losing any health to that monster. Yeah, near even fight. Obviously, hybrids with the advantage, um, but very doable. And they have Videl in the back, who was in the All Stars because she has been in the top ten for a bit. So, obviously, not a bad two characters to rely on. And you know, it's Sword and Future. It's even though. Yeah. Because these are just the last uh, four characters, and it's only a little bit of health difference. Oh, by the way, for those wondering why we're on this map, uh, they spent Zenny to get a map swap. I don't know if that was said, but... Oh, I did not say that, no. The, the, nobody, I think, has Penguin Village this year, or if they do, um, it's not these teams. Because Hybrid's home map, and this is supposed to be in Hybrid's home, is Mount Pazu, and we are obviously not there. They, they did spend Zenny to change the map, which 
Fair enough. Um, also, Sword Trunks has attack plus one, serious indignation, indomitable fighting spirit, launch to support a Broly's ring, and TNAI. Oh, uh, the well. pole swung by super quick because people are freaking out over team's damage. 87% uh, say hybrids, 11 say Budokai. I don't know what's going on, and that does not equal 100%, but somebody... It's an odd some, number of votes. It's a very strange. I mean, still very even. I mean, Videl could do One this. Block? It is not impossible for Videl to do this. It is only asking 50k, right? From a character who's been in yes. the top 10. Yes. Um, Videl with... Super plus one, Indignation, Hatred of Saiyan, Savior, and Dragon Power with TNAI. So she doesn't have any healing, but She's if got the she damage. does a B2, yeah, she has a lot of damage. The problem is Trunks is enjoying his new build and going quite ham with it. I was going to say he's not on his usual Savior, but then I remembered that they were testing. But yeah, this is not looking great for Videl. She needs to do some sort of B2. She hasn't done it yet. Oh, that's even worse. I mean, he doesn't have Savior, but tags are tags. And here we go, finally. But he has defense. Yes. Uh, this is future Gohan with defense plus two, attack minus one. Light body, Kavita, Super Art. Launch and support, Savior and Frieza AI. Oh, no. um, That's his ultimate. Uh, she health tracking. pushed back. It's like it hit. Yeah. <laughs> Not looking good for Videl. Yeah, Futures had a great season this year. They put him on this interesting kind of spam B1 build, and he's done pretty good. And, uh, you know, Videl's fighting for her life, but I have to say, unfortunately for her, I don't think... I just don't know if she can physically do it. She needs to be using ults with these saviors, not high-speed rush, her weakest one. Oh, oh, she did oh, cancel his back bar. Yeah, I mean, an ultimate and a few B2s, maybe? But this is not going to hit. <laughs> Just laying on the ground? I mean, he's not doing much to punish her right now ever since she no. started getting those grabs off, but... He is not doing much at all, in fact. Uh, he came in to clean up, and he's doing the bare minimum. I mean, at least she doesn't have healing. Oh, this combo's it. A valiant well, effort at the end, honestly, bringing it down to about, what is that, like two bars left? Even though they had like three, a full three character bars, lead? Yeah, like three, three bars, bars left. Yeah. So not too bad by Budokai, but unfortunately not enough. So looking at the overall standings, North Kai is still anybody's game. Nobody's eliminated. RW are currently the most likely to not make it, but it is not possible. There is two weeks left. East Kai is... Um, also, nobody's eliminated, but Namek are in a bad spot because they lost and everybody else won. Uh, Cold... Hybrids. Huh? Did Cold win? They did. Yeah, so yeah, they, they won. The we know yeah. Royals won because they beat right, yeah, Kaiju yeah. and GT beat Bujin. So Namek are, they lost, so they're now a win behind, and I don't think they did great in Divisionals. So they have to win the next two weeks and have GT lose the next two weeks. Not impossible, but they're asking a lot. It's same thing for RW. They need Bujins to lose the next two weeks and them to win the next two weeks. Not impossible, but asking a lot. West Kai, hybrids, I mean, if they didn't have the buy before, buy now. Uh, Rugrats, a fantastic win. Basically locks them in for playoffs. Because uh, Derp and Budokai both lost. So the only way they don't make it, right, is if they lose... No, I don't think they can, because they I beat Derp. I don't think Derp. they can, no. It, it, it depends if they beat Budokai. If they beat Budokai, they can lose the next two weeks, and they're still guaranteed playoffs. Uh, so Rugrats are pretty much guaranteed outside of some divisional shenanigans that I don't know of, but basically guaranteed. Derp and Budokai are still fighting for it, uh, for their spot. And then South Kai, um, it's between Cinema and Sentai, and Kaiju and Androids are basically secure, right? So, I, uh, so no. Cinema can win the next two, right? Kaiju loses the next two. But Sentai can't physically catch up to nine wins. Oh, no, they can. They're at seven wins now. So they, they could. Yeah. It is still very flexible. But Androids are basically secured playoffs at this point. I don't think there's anything yeah. to stop them. Nobody can I get think to it's mostly wins. between Cinema and Sentai and South Kai right now. Yeah. If Kaiju goes on a massive losing streak, it'll come down to divisionals. 
but I think they didn't. I think they won a few of them, so they they obviously aren't fully out. Actually, what? Who's next week's divisionals? I don't even know. That could change things because next week's the final divisional, right? So I I'm assuming it's South Kai because I think it goes northeast, west, south. Uh, let me see. So that's week 14. Yes, yeah, South Kai divisionals. It's Kaiju and Cinema, Androids and Sentai. Which I don't know if it's Androids and Sentai will mean that much, but Kaiju and Cinema could mean something. So Kaiju and Cinema matters a lot. If Cinema wins, it puts them in a spot to catch up and, and get ahead of Kaiju. Uh, Sentai's only matters in the sense of keeping up, because if Sentai beat Kaiju and they catch up, then Kaiju actually has like a incredibly low chance of just popping out of playoffs albeit incredibly difficult expecting them to lose the next two weeks is quite hard to ask uh but you know and sentai has to be androids who's been absolutely insane again certainly welcoming themselves back into north kai but yeah any final remarks j man uh no, I, I still think that it's crazy that there's still so much fluid stuff happening in the final two weeks. Yeah, no teams are doing so bad that they're guaranteed out, which is nice. It means these next two weeks, nobody's just going to be throwing, you know, random stuff out there because it doesn't matter. Everything matters still, which is going to keep this lead, which is really nice. I like it when week 15 matters for every team, right? Yeah. So, fortunately, that might not be the case, but... It certainly can. Week 14 could spice things up just a little more. So that'll do it for me. You ready to end the episode, Jamin? Yep. All right. Well, thanks again for watching those on the stream or the episode. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell icon for notification whenever the stream or episodes come live. Leave a comment down below with a timestamp of your favorite moment from either of these two matches and as always you can see in the description a uh, link to the discord where you can join in on teams commentary and all that as well as the website which is kind of like the wiki it has all the information you'd want to know about everything the twitter which will have updates on the league and the tiktok where you will see any of the shorts and with that i've been door i've been jay we'll catch you guys next week for week